Welcome to the Department of Commerce Electronic Certificate of Origin System. In this video, I will be showing users how to apply for a Certificate of Origin for non-spice products. To get started, go ahead and log into your exporter portal. In order to apply for a Certificate of Origin, users must have products added to the system and have their cost statements or affidavits approved by the Department of Commerce. Go ahead and watch the previous videos in this series to learn how to do so. To get started, I will click on the Apply CEO tile. This directs me to the Certificate of Origin table where I can view all the Certificates of Origin non-spices that I have applied to. The ECO number is a unique ID generated by the Electronic Certificate of Origin system for you to identify your Certificates of Origin. For each new Certificate of Origin that you apply for, a new ECO number will be generated. The following columns display the agreement status of my certificate of origin, the original copy, the office copy, payment prompt, and additional actions that can be performed. If I click on the original copy, the original copy of your CEO can be viewed. And similarly, if I click on the office copy, I can view the certificate office copy of a particular CEO. The payment column allows me to pay for a certificate once it is approved by the Department of Commerce while the action column provides a set of additional features depending on the status of your certificate of origin. For an example, if I click on the eye icon, it provides me a detailed look into information regarding each certificate from consignee name, address, created date, time, and so on. There are other additional actions that will become available based on the status of your certificate of origin. These will be explained in detail in the next video. To start off, let's click on Apply New Application. This directs me to the CEO application page. I will now select an agreement, enter consignee name, consignee address, importing country, means of transport, route to and from custodic number office code in custodic custodic date and the custodic declaration Then I will enter the FOB value in USD and provide the exchange rate for USD in Sri Lankan rupees. As you can see, the system will calculate the FOB for you once these values are provided. This area is where your product details pertaining to the certificate of origin are to be added. The plus icon allows you to add multiple products if necessary. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will only add a single product. It is worth noting that only products relevant to selected agreements and destinations that also have a Department of Commerce approved cost statement, material sheet or affidavit will be displayed in this drop-down list. If your product does not appear in this drop-down list, please make sure that these prerequisites are met. I will now enter the marks and number of packages, number and kind of packages, Description of good and origin criterion. You can either specify the gross weight in kilograms or metric ton or other quantities in pieces, units or numbers if that is relevant to your selected product. It is worth noting that it is required for you to specify either the gross weight or the quantity in pieces when adding a product. You will need to add one of these to successfully complete this application process. It is also worth noting that for your convenience, once you have selected a product from the drop-down list, you can click on the view cost statement slash affidavit button on the right to view the cost statement or affidavit pertaining to that selected product. And now I will enter a total gross weight. A total net weight or a total other quantities can be entered as optional fields. 
Now the invoices relevant to the certificate of origin application must be attached. Enter an invoice number and a date and then click on upload invoice button to attach a relevant invoice. Also worth noting that multiple invoices can be entered by clicking on the plus icon. Afterwards, any additional notes that need to be specified in the certificate of origin can be entered. Up to five additional notes can be entered using this system, so please make sure to use this space given appropriately. And to finish things off, I will upload the bill of lading, CUSDEC, and an attach sheet. Any other relevant documents can be uploaded using the Upload Other Documents button. And now I am given an option to save this CEO application as a template. This can be very helpful if you are trying to apply for multiple number of certificates of origin and only one or two of the inputs are going to be changed between each application. To demonstrate, let me go ahead and save this application by clicking the checkbox and providing it a suitable name. Now before I submit the application, I will click on Preview. A PDF of the Certificate of Origin original copy will be downloaded. This will allow me to preview what my Certificate of Origin would look like before I submit the application to be sent to the Department of Commerce Review. If there are any inconsistencies or corrections to be made, I can make those changes within the Certificate of Origin application page and preview the certificate once again to ensure its correctness. Now with everything completed, I will click on Submit to send this application for Department of Commerce Review. As you can see on the Certificate of Origin table, the status of my application says Processing. I can view the original certificate and office copies of my application by clicking these buttons. As you can see, a government watermark is currently placed within the certificate. Once the Department of Commerce reviews this application, you will be prompted to make the appropriate payments at which point this watermark will be removed from your certification. Now to demonstrate the saved template, now if I go ahead and click apply for new application, you can clearly see that the template you just saved is available for you. Clicking on it directs you to the same application page as before where you can change the inputs to your liking and apply for a second or third or fourth certificate of version. So saving template allows you to save the inputs of certificates to keep them for later use. An email will be sent to your account confirming your submission of a CEO application as shown here. And now I will skip ahead in time to show what a Department of Commerce approval of a certificate of origin will look like. Once the Department of Commerce reviewed the application, you will receive an email which looks like this. It says that my Certificate of Origin application has been approved by the Department of Commerce and it is prompting me to make the necessary payments. Going to the Certificate of Origin table, the status of the application has changed from processed to pending payment. Now let me go ahead and click the Pay button. This directs me to the Payment page. In here I can view all the pending payments that I have in my account. This page can also be accessed from the dashboard by clicking on the Payments tile. I will now select the Certificate of Origin I submitted during this demonstration, which can be found using the ECO number of this electronic system generates for each certificate that I have entered. If you are unsure about whether you are paying for the correct certificate, click on the View icon in the table and it will show me the exact certificate to which I am making the payment for. And if you require additional copies of a particular certificate, click on the upward arrow icon under the additional certificate column to request more certificates. The system will automatically calculate the total price depending on your selection. Furthermore, through this payment page, payments can be made for multiple certificates in bulk by simply ticking the checkbox on the left to select the certificates you wish to pay for. Once the necessary certificates are selected, in the bottom of the screen you are given an option to either make a card payment or a bank transfer. By selecting a card payment, we'll direct you to a prompt provided by the Internet Payment Gateway where you can enter your card details and make an instantaneous secure payment. However, you can also perform a bank transfer to the Department of Commerce account 
and upload the receipt of the bank transfer into the system. Now let me fast forward a bit so I can make the necessary payments for these certificates of origin. Once the payments are successfully completed, you will receive an email which looks like this. And now returning to the certificate of origin table, the status of my certificate has changed from pending payment to ready to issue. And clicking on the original and office copies reveals that the watermark has also now been successfully removed. Now all that is left to do is to get a printout of this certificate using the blank papers provided by the Department of Commerce, place the authorized person's signature on the relevant box within the certificate, and bring that signed certificate to the Department of Commerce to collect their signatures. Once the Department of Commerce places their signature on a certificate, they will update the system from their side, which will cause the status of your certificate to change to approved as shown here. We have successfully completed the process of applying for a certificate of origin. As you can see, once the certificate has undergone this complete process and its status has changed to approved, two additional buttons have appeared in the action column on the table. In the next video, I will be showcasing what these two additional buttons do, which are cancellation and duplication of your certificate of origin, which can be formed on both non-spices as well as certificate of origin for spices. Furthermore, I will be showcasing exporters on how to request for the blank papers which are necessary to print out the certificates of origin. So please continue to watch the next video to fully understand the, all the functionalities of the electronic certificate of origin system. Thank you for watching.